doing, lad? Doing, doing, doing. Hey, I had an idea. I thought I was sitting up there bored at home. I thought it's Friday night. It's about 20 past seven. I thought we'll go for a walk up the cross. You know how there's the yarn getting around like the cross is shit now and they ruined that and everything shut down. The cross is dead, that's it. The cross is dead. The cross is, that's what I'll call the, this vlog. Is the cross dead? <laughs> Friday night walk through King's Cross. Hashtag, is it dead? <laughs> and we in the thumbnail like, like in the middle of a dead street, you know, YouTuber-y lad. It's the old YouTube moves, bruh. You gotta do that shit, lads. Dumb as, but you have to, bruh, because people are people are basic minded. You gotta like stroke the sh stroke the four year old brain in them so they click your video. Is it dead? Hashtag boring. <laughs> With an extreme thumbnail, like. Uh, anyway, the games we play, brother. The business we're in. Could be worse. Could be digging holes, eh? Could be digging holes. Storm. Oh my god. Could be digging holes, you know? I'll show you, so you'll see it from here. Oh well there's trees here, you won't see it. That's the museum, that's National Museum. We'll cross here. We'll get away from the trees. Get away from the trees! <laughs> I'm sick of trees. They still get the Christmas tree up in front of St. Mary's Cathedral. That's mad. Listen, I'm bored and I'm hungry, so you're stuck. You're joining me. We're walking through King's Cross on a Friday night to see how dead or how good it is. Hashtag redeemed. Hey, redeemed, lad. Redeemed. I'll go redeem King's Cross if all right, if it's AIDS, if I get a mad feed and it looks fun, I'll stand in the middle of the street, mums, and I'll go, redeemed, I'll redeem King's Cross. And if it's not, I'm just leaving quietly, cuz. There's a mad pool under here. My wife didn't even know. My sister didn't know either. I go, you know, in the park in front of us here, there's like two swimming pools, two gyms. It's an outdoor gym, an indoor gym, Olympic pool. A heated pool and then an indoor basketball court. So here I'll show you. Oh, they frosted the glass. They frosted the glass. So all the creeps with GoPros can't film and put it on YouTube. No no no. They frosted this glass. So down here is the pool. If you Ever since I was a kid, if you walk past here, you're looking down at people. Well, actually, when I was a kid, I wasn't here. But when I was, a, like, what I mean, like, 15 years ago, you're just looking at people. I, I think if I put it up here, you'll be able to see. Did you see it? I couldn't see. But anyway, they frosted it. Because old Dirty Harry would have been like this. Like that. And they're like, mate... Get him out of here. Uppercut this bloke. What about this? I'm sleeping on the floor at home. What are you talking about, cuz? We're still out there at Canterbury. Because the stuff can't get delivered for another couple of days. You're going to crack up. The stuff can't... The big furniture. So, two things. So, the furniture that we're keeping from the old place. Which is just a few things. Can't be delivered to the start of next year. It's only a few days away. And then all the new stuff I bought can't be delivered to the day after. So right now, uh, we hired a van and um, just filled the van up with stuff that we could carry ourselves. So the house is full of stuff, but no furniture. <laughs> so last night we slept on the floor. We put like blankets down and slept on them and then a blanket on top. I thought I was sleeping at Canterbury land. I've got a house here, brother. I'm going to stay in Canterbury for New Year's. We hire city views, fireworks views, and then by New Year's I'm sitting in Canterbury but paying rent here. No way, but I'll sleep on the floor. True or not? Don't worry about a bed, brother. I'm from jail. Hey, I'm from jail, lad. I'm AIDS. So this is William Street. Oh, you didn't see the coke sign yet. I'll show you, I'll show you. When there's no cars, I'll walk on the road now. Hey, go, cool, mate. Yeah, go. 
certo, hein? We well, saw the, the coke sign up the end of the street. That was on, um, that's the cross. So we're nearly there. I'm full starving, man. But you know how much, you know much kilos I've lost? What are you talking about? Oh, I've done a mad session in the gym I'm at the place. This morning I woke up, what are you talking about? That's why I'm not staying in Canterbury. I woke up, I trained downstairs. You know the shoulder press? The seat, the shoulder press? It's a bench press. I put it flat, it's hectic. Bro, I lifted on my third set, three quarters of the stack, and it was heavy. I've done six reps. So I'm eight, bro. We got months, we got heaps of progress there. Progress down to the full stack, get comfortable with the full stack. Mm, until I'm pumping 15 reps of the full stack, then we'll move some, then we'll move on for chest day. I didn't do dips though. You remember um, I was saying I was gonna do dips on the thing? I got too impressed with that that was the bench press and just bench pressed lad till I got tired. See this street here, I'll explain it to you. You know, I got Woolamaloo tattooed on my chest. This is the suburb when I become old enough to hang around the streets and do crime and stuff. 14th. I started hanging around Woolamaloo. But I lived on the other side of the city, near, old, near uh, Broadway Shopping Centre. But this place became my home. See this street? This is the dividing street. All the streets we pass on the left, on our side, is uh, Woolamaloo. All the streets we pass on the right is Darlinghurst and the end of the street is King's Cross. And William Street runs straight down the middle so you can get a feeling for where we are. And this was the corner where all the men used to dress in dresses. The, this one. There was like different corners. There was like Asian ones, these were the men's in dresses, they all had their designated corners. Hey, men's in dresses, lad. Whatever, bruh. Do whatever you want to do, I'm just speaking factually, lad. That's all I'm doing, cuz. I've done a swim today as well. You know what, since I've done a swim, an hour and a half ago, I haven't drank water. We're gonna do a refuel. We're gonna do the food and the electrolytes ASAP. Where's my salt? Where's my oxy shred? <laughs> nice. To be honest, I don't like swimming that much. I won't do it that much. I'm doing it because it's new. I love the gym, I love the sauna. I don't like swimming that much. I don't like chlorine. And the ocean? Nah, but no ocean. Ever since that bloke got eaten by the shark in Sydney? No way, cuz. No way, brother. No way I go near the ocean. <laughs> I hate the ocean, cuz. I hate the ocean more than heights, you don't understand. When, you know, like my whole life I was sweet in the ocean. Swim, Bondi Beach. I was on Bondi Rescue once. I saved this Indian guy. I saved him and then they come interviewed me. And I was just like, 2011 lad, whoa boys, this that, we're out here saving lives. And they cut it out bro, they didn't let me rep 2011. They put me on there just boring lad, what happened to all the good stuff? That Bondi rescue, you cut out all the culture, lad. Anyway, here we are. Well, yeah, that was quick. Bro, soccer jerseys make you sweat, lad. Who's gonna lie about that? Not me, my way, cuz. I can't tell if we rest or we eat. We eat. Anyway, this is the start of the cross. Boom. Hey. This is the start of the cross. So from this street where all the cars are turning left, from the coke sign behind us, King's Cross, if you go right that way, there's a different, different people there, brother. Hey, you later. We're crossing here because when you live in Woolo, this is your local Coles in here. 
Bulla's down that hill there. Two minutes walk, so this is all the shops. So we'll see in this plaza what's going on. There used to be a mad health food shop in here. It was called Health Nuts. They sell like supplements. You know, they used to make protein shakes. Maybe they make protein shakes, bro. If they do, I'll get one still. You know, any of those massage places, the Chinese ones are good. But when it's men move, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, look, it was there. But it's closed. Bro, look, the whole thing. Remember I was saying, like, it, that's what it was called, uh, health nuts. But this was like their, a cafe or something they built, but the main thing was here. But hey, they saw all like supplements, and when I was ages ago trying to be a professional bodybuilder, I'd come up here, lad, wasting thousands of dollars on vitamins. And the cause is the downstairs here. They usually got some nice restaurants here. They are nice restaurants. Apparently this Italian up here. Oh, you know what I'm excited for? We got the whole city, mad feeds. Whenever I'm bored and I don't know what to vlog, like if I had a boring day, I didn't do anything eventful to show you. We'll just go get a gun feed, lad. We could eat at a different place every night for three years. You wouldn't know what's going on. That kebab store on the corner is new, King's Kebab. I've never seen that before. Yeah, this place, um, that's like award-winning Italian. Asian restaurant. Oh, Angie's are there. The coppers pull up. They're going, they're going Guzman and Gomez. Oh, look, people are asleep on the floor. I can see some characters sitting around on doorsteps and that. Maybe, maybe there's characters up here, lad. Well, you know, like, you, you can just, you know, straight away, cuz, like, I know, like, the vibe, brother. Who's he in what class, you know what I mean? Gentlemen's Club. Ah, oh, so these places do exist still, cuz. It didn't look like it was open. Oh, see here, I'll tell you what this is. Hey, we're done, mate. How are you? This is, see here, lucky I didn't, these are things that are like interesting to you. This is one of the first legal injection rooms. Bro, it's been a long time, lad, and I injected in here once. Um, I, I don't want to get too factual about it because I'll probably get it wrong, but I think that's one of the first injection rooms in Australia. When the whole concept, I don't know the name of it, when the whole concept of legal injection rooms where there's fresh needles and the police leave you alone and you can dispose of your stuff properly was, was invented, or when it came to Australia, I'm pretty sure that's the first place in Australia. And this opened back in the days while I was a heroin addict. So I would have been... How old was I probably when I went there? I wasn't over 18. I don't think I was over 18. Or maybe like... Maybe 18. Maybe I was like 17, 18 years old or something. And I went in there one time. I always knew it existed, but... Like... And I don't know what made me go in there. I think because sometimes... When you're a heroin addict, the, hard, hey, boom. the hardest thing is like, sometimes you have your stuff, but you don't have the equipment. Do you know what I mean? And it's hard to get the equipment. 
so that place provides the equipment um, like if you don't have it and I think I was in that situation and I thought brah like just go in there bro and I think I remember being turned off I remember being turned off because there's like this process it's like they ask questions that's your name this and there's like a sign in and you got to fill out a questionnaire have you ever overdosed that kind of stuff when you know like when you're in that mindset but I ain't questionnaire but they give me give me the needle leave me alone you know what I mean see I don't remember what it's called but we'll look in there Monday, open 9.30 to 9.30. Let me in, mate. I'm stressing. Let me in. <laughs> That's new. This is new, I've never seen this before. Hey? Chicken store. Not bad cars, there actually wasn't a chicken store up there. Hey, look at these mighty standing. <laughs> look at these security guards standing. Bruh. Hey, we're done, mate. How are you? <laughs> Come on, bro. I swear, lad. Do you see how that bloke was standing, cuz? Surely that's you got your diaphragm would hurt after like 40 seconds of that, lad. Relax. Or maybe you seen the camera coming and he thought I'll turn into Sam Sulek for a bit. Oh, bro, that's all faithful cafe, lad. See this cafe here? That's my cheap feeds, lad. I used to eat there. It's like full cheap feeds, bruh. They make like, you know, breakfast and bacon and egg rolls, but full like, not city prices. Bruh, have you ever seen, there's like, um, there's like this old video off the internet. Bruh, what was it? Maybe it was like that, it was a bum fight. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was like some old YouTube video, bruh, I swear. And they're asking this lad, like, he's this old, this American, like, African-American lad. And he's, like, ganked, but I don't know what he's on. And he's, like, in the backseat of the car, and they say, like, what's better? Alcohol or Yandi? Don't. Alcohol or Yandi? And he goes into this mad spill about how, like, alcohol's poison and Yandi's the best. He goes, what's better? And one of the things he's giving this rundown, he goes, you're more happy, there's no violence. He goes, um, there's more activities. <laughs> <laughs> More activities he reckons. I can't that I swear if I found heaps of those old clips, those old OG but the first time I ever seen YouTube, I got out of jail in 2008 and um 2007 or eight. And then uh, one of the boys down Wallow's younger brother, the young lad was named Mitch. And he showed me YouTube at the local library. Back then there was you know you go to the library and there's computers and internet. <laughs> <laughs> might have been earlier than 07 it might have been 06 I don't know and I spun out brothers every song in the world you just type it up and the video is there and then you get caught in this world of random videos and heaps of them were like crackhead videos from America and they're like they're timeless you know what I mean see this street here this street's called Roslyn Street I'm not gonna go and start telling ya uh, these gang, this gang star, right? Cause I don't even care about that stuff, lad. That's boring to me. But this street um, was like, you know how in Amsterdam they have a cafe, well cafes, not a, cafes and you go in and like that. Um, they had one here. So this, there was only one. And it was this famous, it was called like the Sunshine Cafe or Rainbow Cafe or Something like that. It was down Roslyn Street, and that's what it was most known for. Um, other than the lads in the streets, mm, like that too. But you go in the cafe. Mm, I gotta just. Sometimes I can't say things, bro. YouTube, like, YouTube's weird. Like, you don't. You don't. Know, as if I'm ever gonna promote drugs or anything like that. But 
Sometimes if you even talk factually about a history or an event and the word drug is in it, they say it like, nah, this is not good. You know what I mean? And like they strike the video and stuff. That's why I like a lot of the things, like the lads were there, mm, you know what I mean? There's a cafe, mm, wake up to yourself. You get the point. Anyways, down there, you get what I'm sick of this street. Let's keep going. Hey, no mate. Hey, How are you? Don't man. How's everything? Yeah, good, bro. Yeah, good. Bro, see this whole thing's knocked down. These were like pubs. Don't know the name of them, but there was like many. Um, two. The, this one on the corner was like some real popular pub. I always remember. This whole thing is like this now. And at the end of there is King's Cross Cop Shop. Was that you? Yeah. yeah. You parked. Sorry. You parked to see me. Sorry. Yeah. You parked your car to come see me, huh? No, I did. Yeah. And I'm live too. You're live. Oh, we're both live, mate. Hey, Let's have a live fight. Well, yeah. So like, nah, I'm not live. It's I'm a live. YouTube recording. Yeah. 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 No, I just got live on TikTok. Yeah, mad, bro. I was driving around, so yeah. I'm doing Uber. No, I got nothing. I'm oh, you doing Uber? Board. I'm bored. Yeah, yeah. It's really quiet. Yep. I'm still on an off waiting for a trip to come. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So I thought I'll turn it on and I'll just film the street and then I'll see you. No way. I gotta go. Hello, at least. You Uber. Around here, yeah, wherever, it takes me, wherever it takes me, I live out Liverpool way. Oh, do you? So it's wherever it takes me, end up down here. Yeah. Somebody saying, Hey, Spaniard, Spaniard, my man. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, they'll spin out seeing you, yeah, seeing yeah, me I'm on your life. Unbelievable. That's <laughs> why I thought I'll get out and I'll say hello. I think you don't mind, do you? No, nah, I don't care, of course not. Yeah. I'm made for the camera, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you flipped it 14 times and you flipped it back forward. Flip the back again, eh? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there it Swap is. it down uh, now. Like Here we go, guys. There we are. Uh, He's know? caught me. We're, we're doing YouTube <laughs> vlogs. All right, bro. Have a good day. Alrighty, See you, mate. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah, that's the cop shop. It's been here for a long, long time. It was a lady, she thought matey was overdose behind us. <laughs> I you know, see that like there, the matey was asleep on the bench. <laughs> and you know the ladies, they, they are doing well bro, good on them, you know. And she's like seen him and thought she'll come to the saviour and she's woke him up and he's just like, oh, go away bro. <laughs> so anyway, we walk through there, what we walk through, that's the cross lad. That's the cross. Any further down that street, it's just, it's nice restaurants and, and very rich down there. Rich housing. We'll walk back through on the other side. And we'll go get a feed. It's still only early. Sun stays up forever here, eh? Pushing on 8 o'clock, 7.40 or something. It should be dark soon. We'll get a feed. I'll turn the camp. We'll go get a feed. We'll walk back down here. After I get a feed, I'll turn the camera off for a bit and let it get a bit darker. See, if, see what happens. See if around 9 o'clock people are drunk and a bit after that. I know that if the time would be 2 in the morning. I'm not walking around 2 in the morning looking for drunk people, bro. Get out of here, lad. My bed's too cozy for that, but I'm eats. We'll hang around till it goes dark. If not, if nothing's going on by then, pff, dead. No redeem. Thank you. This Macca's is the spot when like everything starts to close, which apparently in Sydney is really early. And it's just people in here loaded, falling over the place, punching on this and that. But that's like real late. You know what? I might go get a feed at, at the place that I said. At the, the place that I used to eat at. I wonder if they'd ever remember me. It would make my heart nice and cosy if they remembered me. I'm not going to lie. But I, didn't, I haven't lived in Woolow for since 2019. So, four years. Nearly five years, bro. Nearly five years. 
So like I doubt they'd remember But I was there twice a day Me and my mate Costa We used to go train And that was like uh, After train and feed Every single day And then I'll creep back up uh, In the Arvo If there were seeds Spewing Maybe there's a seed inside How are you? How you been? Good, good, good I want to get something to eat yeah, everything's good, yeah, yeah. But it's still so cheap. Remember I was saying everything's really cheap? Look. Look, bro. Breakfast special, $7. Two eggs, bacon, toast, and grilled tomato. Two eggs, bacon, toast, and grilled tomato. $7. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you something else, man. Pancakes, $8. Three stack of pancakes with maple syrup and ice cream. Eight dollars, lad. See? Porridge, milk, oat milk, honey. Seven dollars. Porridge, honey. Look, brah. When this is like prices of a restaurant, like or a cafe in Sydney, like honestly, fifteen years ago. Look, Look main meals. Sirloin steak. Pepper or mushroom sauce with mash and veggies, fourteen dollars. Steak, mash and veggies. Sirloin steak, mash and veggies, fourteen dollars. We're getting that, guys. Can I sit in there? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, by myself. Can I get the sirloin steak? Mushroom sauce. Medium. Uh, medium. Medium. Yeah. Mash and veggies and uh, mushroom sauce. Thank you. No water. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bro, it's still the same. They remember me. It's crazy because. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's world-class food. Look, cuz, like, you know it's not. Do you know what I mean? But it's it's decent. And if you calculate the price with it, it's unbelievable. And, bro, how much has the world changed in the last six months? Let alone the last five years. And, bro, it's, I'm pretty sure everything is just like one dollar more. It's like still so such a good price. Do you know what I mean? It's the best. It's good, bro, because heaps of the locals around here are poor. Heaps of people are poor. Heaps of people are rich, but heaps of people are poor too. So if you go to some places here, bro, it's like really, really expensive places. Nearly everywhere is like that. So then most of these people, they can't eat. They have to go to Coles to get food, you know what I mean? Even the most basic hot food around anywhere in the city is so dear, bro. Burgers are $22 a burger. Kebabs are $16, like, it's crazy. Boom, lad, let's go, cars. Look at that. See? Look at the size of it. That's a decent piece of steak, lad. Mashed potato, veggies, what more can you ask for, lad? I'm G. You know me and salt. We have an intense relationship. I'm an electrolyte monster nowadays, cuz. Salt everywhere. It's probably a, a little bit closer to medium rare. I think there was a translation issue there. Oh, who cares, bro? True. Who 
cares, cuz? The one behind me spinning out. Chuck of verbals. Oh, if I get gravy on my Real Madrid shirt, that I'll die. She's drunk, drunk. Come in here drunk, throwing verbals around. And I don't want nothing. Trying to get him to make customized fried rice. Get out. A lovely feed. Done and dusted. Thank you, beautiful. Yeah, you too. And the water. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Boom. $16. With the water, lad. That's what I mean. Matey behind me still standing there like, um, Johnny Bravo, Roger Ramjet. <laughs> hey, you remember Roger Ramjet? <laughs> Roger Ramjet. Hey. What are you doing, lad? Nothing much, bro. I'm hey. a big fan from Instagram and everything. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Good? I'm good, brother. No, Have a good night. What is the time now? What's the official time? How far away... How far away is the action? Just past eight o'clock. We'll give it a bit. I'll go have a look around the shops and stuff. I'll pause it now. And um, I'll see if it gets a bit more rowdy, lad. You know what I'll do? I'll just go home. <laughs> and I'll go back in a couple hours. Because I was there, like I turned the camera off. I thought, all right, I'll wait around. And I thought, but I'm not sitting here just waiting. You know what I mean? Because in my patience, I would have sat there for an hour, turned the camera on, stuff this, bro. This is what she's get. <laughs> so I'm only two streets away. So I'll go home, hang around. I'll go get a feed or something. I'll just ate. I'll do something anyway, and I'll kill a few hours, and we'll go back in a few hours, right? So it should be sweet then. All right, and we're back, and it's almost midnight. <laughs> I've had two coffees. I went home. It was like 8.30 at night. I had two coffees. I'm hanging in there, mate. Let's go. Let's see what's going on at midnight. Thank God I went home. <laughs> if I stayed here, I would have filmed like at 9 o'clock and went home. So that was a good choice. <sighs> Big missions, bro. You know me, I don't stay awake at night anyway. Let's get on with it, cuz. Straight off the bat, I know we're only entering that, but everything that was over there is like off, off, closed, it's too late, kick in coffees, all of those food places over there have closed, so, I can see down it, it don't really look busier, we'll just see if the vibe's different, it's definitely not busier than it was a few hours ago. See this street here, remember I went up there and I showed you the Italian, the new kebab store. This street here, this is the best time to check out this street now they're here. See, it's called Bayswater Road. This street here was the street that had all the clubs on it, right? So all of like the strip clubs and all of those types of things were down that street. But this street had like, everyone used to party down here. It was like, you know what I mean? Get dressed up. This is the part where you get dressed up and go. So we'll see. All on both sides, so we'll see what's going on there now. This is about perfect time, perfect day for it. How'd you end up like that, mate? What happened? Oh, Tell the story. A whole heap of fucking shit happened. Really? And it, hey. you ended up in your undies? I know, right? How, how? I know. What that's, happened? That's the question, huh? That's the question? That's I'm sure in the morning you'll find out how it happened. See you, mate. Thank you, brother. Be All right. Good, huh? All right, bro. All right. Well, I don't know how that happened, mate. <laughs> He's just kicking back in his undies, loving life.
Bro, it's full dead here, lad. Look. See these buildings here? This is, these were all clubs. Look. Exactly here where I am now is where it was pumping. This, this is a taxi rank that's usually packed. People all over these footpaths. But yeah, hey, Dawn, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Iconic, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All good, Thanks, all good. Bro. See you later. All good. But so like what I was saying, this here was just pumping. It's full dead now, it's turned off. All of those things are like Look, I'm not going to pretend I knew the names of them or ever went to them, but I used to live here my whole life down the road, so I knew. But these are all turned off now. There looks like there's one thing going there, like a little thing. Some people at the front, like some security there. People, people in there waving. Yeah, well, let's say. Hey, how, are you, lad? how are you, lad? Hey, how are you, brother? How are you? Brother? How are you? Yeah, so I don't, that's definitely dead. This back lane here, see this lane here? This was like a seedy back lane. We'll have a walk down it. This was like a seedy back lane. This lane is like the back of all the, the you know, all the, like the clubs at the front. So they see you walk past where there used to be heaps of strip clubs and that. Right? Well, this is the back entrances to them. And so, like, it was always like, you can see there, I think that's awful, Bray. It is. But yeah, this place was like people getting <laughs> chucked out, people getting fucking, you know, ganked in the streets and this and that. You know, if they had scuffles, they brought them out here and. Yeah, all, all that kind of stuff. All right, we'll go to the main street. I think I need a third coffee. I'm not going to lie, cars. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Trying to do full commentaries, lad. The full hanging in there, lad. <laughs> Thank God I live two streets away. Imagine the feeling that people come here and they're just off their guts and they live in, like, the other side of Sydney. That's like a club that's pumping still. At least there's one thing back here. The Greek joint. <laughs> the Greek joint hangs and gets all the drunk people at night. <laughs> it was dead in the day. We went there, it was empty. Everyone was eating around it. Now everyone's gathering in there. Nah, it's full dead, lad. Full dead. What are you talking about? More dead than a few hours ago, true? Worse than a few hours ago. It's 80% like closed places. You know what I mean? Like, look. Like, look, more than 80%. Look at that. And then there's what? A tobacconist open, an adult shop, an adult shop, and a McDonald's. Like, that's, that's all that's open that you can see. Look, bang. All the way to there. And then the next thing that's open is a Hungry Jack's. Like, that's that entire side. 
from here we've walked past what did we walk past we walked past one club thing that was open and then there was a chicken store a couple feet the portos and then this pub here seems like a like pretty ordinary you know what i mean It's like a Uber Eats crew. Like, hey, Uber Eats like, crew. Like, you know what I mean? You know they, they all gather in like one posse. They all chill together and then they get their jobs and fly out. Hey, the Uber Eats. <laughs> that's 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 the only bikey gang left in um, Kings Cross now. It's the Uber Eats lads. <laughs> Hey, yeah. One photo, bro. I stopped the no stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, do go, it, go, man. Go, go, it's so yeah. nice to see you, bro. I can't believe this shit. So Cheers, bro. All good, Easy. bro. All good, all good. This, this straight, the straight, what I was telling you, full dead. This was, um, in my opinion, for, for, for say, for a, like an outsider, if. If they came, how I was explaining it before, if they came to one of the streets and they walked down a street and there was a bunch of people there that were eyeing them off, like, what are you doing here? Or like, get approached. I feel like it was just, it was going down there. I, f I feel like that's where it was. Friday night this time, lad. Psst. You know what I mean? Customers galore, people going down there, getting sussed out galore. This place now, look, let's walk down here. Bro, it's got progressively worse, bro, because, like, I've been here many times since those days. The days I'm talking about is, like, at, at the latest 2005, but even well after that, it was still, like, a, a place that was busy, and even that has stopped. So, it's, like, gone down from being a bad place to just a busy place to just a normal street. But yeah, full dead. I feel like there's an animal on me, lad. What's on me? Ninety ninety. There's a bit of a bit of history here. So that's the shot of nineteen ninety. What it was like. Coke sign. That's the main street. Even looking the nineteen ninety. So what was that? That's where we started. We looked down. Even look in 1990, how pumping it was. Nothing like that now. That's old school. Don't even worry about that. 37. That tattoo store here has always been a tattoo store that sort of pumped, it's empty. That's a place people eat and drink all night, like civilized people. Civilized people. Hey. Hey, civilized people. Go on. Yo. This place, full tables and chairs, like good ordinary people having a like a, 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 a tamed night out, you know what I mean? Sitting down drinking. Look at that full dead skis, lad. This was actually a cool lane. Once upon a time. The most pumping thing in this lane is the, the backpackers hostel. All of that noise that you're hearing is coming from the hostel, not from here. They're up there, they're up there drinking that, having their own party. But look. Do you remember we came here? Do you remember? <laughs> For you, it was like five minutes ago with the bear. <laughs> I'm saying it like it was years ago. Three hours ago, I walked past this place and there was people out there. Do you remember all the way back then? No. True, that place was pumping. Look at it, it's turned off. <laughs> it's closed, it's turned off. 
They turned the switch off. I ran out of power. Full clothes, lad. Uh, so all of these places must close like 11 o'clock. I don't know, cuz. Even these Maccas that we're coming up to, these Maccas are like 11, 12 o'clock, midnight. Was just full of people, cuz. It was like rowdy, people smell this and that. But look, lad, it looks, even now it's gotten so dead that even that is like a normal Maccas at this point. Hey, what are you doing? that, how are you? No, 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 I'm so certain. No video. <laughs> He's trying to get me to go in, lad. Look! That was like... I don't know, I honestly believed, I honestly thought like, yeah, it'll be full dead. No, nah, no one, lad. All good. <laughs> he pointed the camera at him. He's concerned with taking a photo of himself. As he took a selfie. I'm trying to lean in. He's asked me for a photo. He full pointed the camera fully at him. You can only just see like the corner of like the skin from here, like that, on the corner of his thing. And he's just there full like in like full doing them ones. Dawn. Hey, how are you? Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. How are you? <laughs> Yeah. You want a photo? Yeah, here you go. Hey? Oh. Sweet. Oh, all right. good. <laughs> That's him. He come back for round two. <laughs> so in case it didn't save, it's not. It didn't save. <laughs> he clicked on that he took a photograph of himself, so he came back for more. Anyway, I'll see these photos. Well, let's get back up. Speed the distraction. Yeah. Dead ski, lad. Full dead ski. That's the whack. Once we pass these Hungry Jacks there, that's the train station. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. It's good night time, King's Cross. Proper finish, lad. King's Cross is proper finished. So... If you want to come to King's Cross and have fun on a Friday night, come out at 6.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> so you know, that's the heads up. There's our other street crime unit there in the four-wheel drive. Did they keep going? I'm looking, I'm observing. Yeah, they kept going. My FPI ran out anyway. They leave me alone. <laughs> My FPI ran out. I thought the FPOs were forever and they're for five years. Don't even ask me why I had one. They searched, they searched me so much, bro, for five years. Every time they seen me, never found a thing, obviously. They know what I do. I don't even know what they're searching me, bro. Like, just, everyone knows what I do. But it ran out. So, five, so like four months ago, the FPO expired. I'm back to a normal person. So now they see me, they either just say hello or they just ignore me. Oh, <laughs> that's disappointing, bro. Look, do I care? I don't care. I'm just saying it's disappointing <laughs> in 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 respect to what we were looking for. Me, it doesn't make a difference to me. I guess I would like if Sydney had some spots and this stuff still happens. It's never stuff that I went to. Even if I was pumping, I'd never go up there, but yeah. I'm curious what the dynamic is that made like that, that happened, you know what I mean? Like, what was it? I know everyone just says it come down to these law, lockout laws or something, and that just ruined everything. I don't know, bro, I don't know too much about it. It's not something I ever paid attention to, you know what I mean? When all that stuff happened, I'm sitting in maximum security jail in the middle of the country somewhere. <laughs> sitting on the news, they got lockout laws, the world's ruined, there's like, uh, whatever. You know where's more pumping? We'll try to go there soon. Friday, Saturday night, in the middle of the city in George Street. 
it's like that's died and it's all migrated up there you know what i mean even um like just before i didn't film it because we're vlogging here do you know what i'm saying and i'll keep it you know what i'm saying i'll keep it for its own vlog but um when i went back home and then i went and got a coffee before i came here bro i went to the main street george street it was pumping bro people playing music everywhere like people everywhere just walking all over the main road and it was, it was pumping everything was open so yeah i think that's the spot now there'll be more spots than that i know it pumps down circular key darling harbour <laughs> everywhere but king's cross apparently it's just become a completely normal street that happens to have two strip clubs on it that's all it is true it's a completely normal street normal part of sydney city it's actually a a dead part of sydney city and it has two strip clubs like remaining there and they're the remnants of the place that it used to be almost as if it's a museum you know what i mean almost as if it's a museum and you go up there and you see those two strip clubs and you and you have that yarn of do you know one day this was one day uh 20 years ago this was this place that's why that's there you know yeah anyway i hate this bar